have to fight. fight. A virus fight. 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 go to school, go to teachers. Class. 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 They must face, they got these battle balls. Battle balls. Don't know how to use from these two aliens. Seven Seven Seven. Call them super noobs, super noobs, super noobs. Is she looking at us? Please tell me she's not looking at us. I don't think so. A ton of grades and awards are going to be handed out this week, which means more showdowns with my academic arch nemesis, Sheldon McCracken. <laughs> smells like loser. As in, I will win all the awards. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't grr. There's no way Sheldon is going to beat you at everything this week. And the math lead of the year is Sheldon! And second is Jennifer. And the best history paper goes to Sheldon! And next was Jennifer. Time to judge the best cake! Oh, Jennifer, that is delicious. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, but who cares if you lost to Sheldon all week? You're still a straight A student. I care. But I do too. Oh, hi, Jennifer. I'm off to work on my science project, which will surely beat yours. Once my project is finished, it will totally win. Oh, let me guess. You haven't finished putting the light in the lemon? To make a lemon light? <laughs> and I would be too if I could just get the right books from the library. But every time I go, the books I need are gone. But not this time, because I'm going to get to the library before it even opens. How? You. To the library! So this is the library. And now to get my books on particle physics and... <gasps> they're gone! How is that possible? The library isn't even open yet. Looking for these? Hey, those are the books Shope needs! That's right! I always get to the library before Jennifer so I can take her books. How? It's not open for 15 minutes! <laughs> you can always get in the library if you build a secret passage! Okay, I think Sheldon just reached level whack bag. But does anyone notice the dramatic lighting around him? And now, to complete my science project, the direct downloadinator! And fill my mind with every digitally downloaded book on the internet! <laughs> Wrong again. I just have all the knowledge of David Wayne's Master's Guide to Illusion book. Kazam! Neat trick. Okay, noobs. It's time to stop him and go battle ball. What? He hasn't done anything wrong. Except make a mess. Fine. You don't want to help me, and I know who will. All I'm saying is, I have a bad feeling about Sheldon's science project. Because knowledge is power, but too much knowledge can be a bad thing. Okay, but what do you want from us? We're very busy studying new ways to defeat the virus. You're playing with the yo-yo and Mem's hand is stuck in a vase. Okay, we're not busy. What do you want from us? Okay, so where's this geek you think might turn evil? Gym class! You're going down, Sheldon! <laughs> <laughs> the Art of Baseball by Jack Schmaltz! <laughs> First, <laughs> when did lunch get so great? School Lunch Revolution by Pierre Sirage! <laughs> Do you see this? Look on her! Look! Her lips! Look there! Look! <laughs> the complete work!
works of Shakespeare! That kid is the bomb! And his science project will clearly get an A++! Well, so will my electro-pulse reader! Which senses how many electrons are in the area! Yeah, there's no way that project will beat his. You might want to give up. Nobody notices anything different about Sheldon. Hey, Shope! Want to take another look at greatness? It's possible his head is bigger. Sheldon, my electron reader is getting a huge signal from your head. It could be dangerous. Ah, oh, you're just jealous I have more book power than you. Well, I choose to ignore your negativity thanks to Dump Jealous Friends and Be a Better You by Dr. Hans Franz. <laughs> okay, I have just the tool to fix this. No normal human brain can handle that many electrons and will surely malfunction. Okay, well, what could happen? It could manifest in a different personality or explode. <laughs> Okay, so we have to save Sheldon, because the split personality sounds dangerous. And his head exploding sounds messy, and we don't want to clean it up. <laughs> I think that's the new personality. Bow down, everyone, to... The Bookworm! Your new overlord and leader! Okay, where did that come from? I know! Evil villains for beginners! A simple guide to becoming an overlord and leader. Sheldon, you need to stop and data dump your book knowledge or things will get very bad. And I challenge you to stop me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, we have to stop Sheldon from being our overlord. Because that's bad. But mostly we have to stop him before his head blows up. Right! We have to get Sheldon back in his helmet, reverse his science project, and return him to his normal, annoying, but super smart self. Split up! We'll stay here with Shope and reverse the helmet's current. You guys bring him back. Got it! Mayor of Cornberry! Relinquish your power, for I am the Bookworm! Can I finish my sandwich first? I see no problem with that. Bookworm! Oh, cool super pose. Surrender now and return to the library. Or else. I could do that. Or I could learn the most dangerous martial arts move in just 12 days. I think I might actually read more books after this. Well, maybe he should read my book, which I call Fist of Fury! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Move things with the power of your mind by Mystic Rajami, which I was always skeptical of until I gained my super mind. Oh, crud. <laughs> Great! Now we have to clean all that up! Ugh, he's unstoppable! It's so well read! Which means the only way to get him back here is to make him think he can gain even more power! Aha! Uh -huh. And how do we do that? So, as long as we refer to you as our overlord, we can live. I'm the bookworm, not a monster. Sheldon! There is no Sheldon! Just the mind-blowing, powerful bookworm! You're not that smart. Yes, I am. I know books. Not all of them. The library firewalled all international books. But I have the passcode. But now I have it. I win again. Now to download all the books in the world! <laughs> Do we still have to bow down to him? Nope. Oh! Get ready, planet! For the super brainiest, book smartiest overlord ever! The Bookworm! Huh? What's happening? 
is Jennifer! And second goes to Sheldon. No! 